The ultimate fishing experience is brought to you by Lund Boats. This week on the ultimate fishing experience, it's a fall bonanza as autumn marches forward, cooling air and water temperatures set in motion changes to the aquatic world and to the world above the surface as well. It's nature's way of preparing for the long winter that lies ahead. This change of season is what brings Mike Hayner to meet up with Billy Rosner on beautiful Vermilion Lake in northern Minnesota. What more can we ask for, man? That's just a beautiful fall fish. Man, all right. That was a fun time. Strategically located at the lake's outflow is Vermilion Dam Lodge, which makes a great jumping off point for Mike and Billy's dual quest for hungry walleyes and rough grouse. So it's time to load the boat with rods, shotguns, and a trusty canine companion. For fall is a time of harvest, and there's no better place that these two sportsmen would rather be. When it comes to fall time, you know, having the perfect day, I think we had it. Walleyes and grouse. I guess the only thing left to do now is to go back to the lodge and cook them up and eat them. Should we go get them? Oh, oh he knows right where to go. Hey, Billy. Mike! How's it going? Good to see you. Hey, you too. Ready to give him? That's oh, Jack. That's Jack. my dog, Jack. He's uh, you hopefully going to get some gross, Jack. He's hopefully going to be a little help today. So Awesome. So, yeah, what's, um, what's the plan for today? Man, we got some beautiful weather. It's that time of year. It's a tough yeah. decision. Should we go bird hunting or walleye fishing? Yeah, well, that's why I brought the gun. I figured you got the rods, I got the gun. And yeah. that's the problem with this time of the year. It's, you know, you don't have time to do them both, but we're going we're gonna to go out and give her a whirl, aren't we? Right, yep. What do you think, Jack? What should we do first? Do we walleye fish or grouse hunt? We're up here at Vermilion Dam Lodge. Yep, you guessed it. Northern Minnesota on Lake, beautiful Lake Vermilion. There's 365 islands, 40,000 acres, 1,200 miles of shoreline. I like to say it's like a mini lake of the woods almost, is what it kind of reminds me of. It's just a great multi species lake to fish, along with the walleyes, too. It's a really good crappie lake. We get some nice crappies in here, good small and largemouth fishing, and then the muskie. Earlier this year, somebody caught a 58 and a half, man, just an absolute giant. You gonna start out with a jig and minnow then there, sir? Yes, I am. All right, I'll uh, open up with the wrap, the old jig and wrap. That's a good, good fall bait. Billy, typically this time of year, I mean, used to walleyes being you know deep 30 35 40 foot of water but it's not the case huh that's what you've been finding are they up kind of shallow or they are i mean i just read in a local paper the other day this past september is the fourth warmest on record mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of times this time of year like our weed lines up here on vermilion by this time of the year they're tipped over yeah these perch are moved out of here and the walleyes are transitioning into those deeper holes and troughs and, okay uh, for the most part, they're still here. It's one of those unusual years. A lot, a lot of perch, and you know what that means. <laughs> Walleyes are going to be right behind them. There's one. Ah! It was pretty close to the boat. He drilled her good. Nice. Drilled her good. Yeah, this one's actually good job, taking man. a little drag. Nice. Huh? I got a good guide. Yeah, I, I spot locked this up here too, so it's going to make a little swing here on us. But that's yeah. nice about that spot lock. It helps yeah, us out. This is actually a pretty stout fish. Oh, beautiful fish. Holy beautiful God. fish, Mike. That's a horse. Ho -ho, that is that. a horse. Nice. Awesome, awesome, A little better awesome. than I thought, huh? <laughs> you missed a little, bud. 
Right, and he came unhooked. It was the first one of the day, huh? Good job, man. So now we got us a out. we got us a slot here, 18 to 26, yes. right? So yep. this is we'll probably looks like she's gonna fall in the slot, which is fine. I wouldn't keep one like this anyhow, but no, beautiful not a bad fish. start, huh? And you're she's filling up on those perch you're talking about. Yep, definitely. Beautiful. So, yes. oh, beautiful. We'll let her go. Now let's get a couple for the tank, yeah. couple eaters. Get in there, man. We're sitting on a couple right here, right here. Close captioning brought to you by Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Billy. Hey, I love it. Hooked up again. I'm, I, I like keep, it. I like it. This one was really fooling around with me. I got. I saw that. Yeah, it got hit twice, and I stopped it for a minute, and then it came back and got it. You must have really wanted it. Again, it's another. Nice. It feels like another one of those good quality fish. This jigging Very wrap nice. technique is quite interesting, I'll say that. It's if you haven't done it before, it's something you gotta kinda get used to. It's almost like you have to go out with somebody who's doing it and catch fish doing it because like, to build up the confidence factor. But boy, I tell you what, once you start doing it and catching fish on it, you're gonna you're gonna wanna do it a lot because it works really well. You just have to have the right uh, setup for doing it as far as bottom and where the fish are and everything. But yeah, I think this is a, uh... ooh, we got another good one. Oh yeah, oh, look at that guy. Yeah. Let me get him over there. There nice. we go, sweet. Nice, Mike. Man, they're not getting any smaller for sure, are they? Oh, that's a beauty there. Well, it helps to be on a good spot, right? Another one a little smaller than the last one, but still, um... You know, it's in that slot again, but another quality fall fish, so. Yep. What do you think of this fall fishing not, up here? Not so bad, Indian? not so bad. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna let this guy go, so we'll uh, get back after it. Oh, man, all right, that was that was a fun time. Well, I was talking about using the jigging wraps. To fish the jigging wrap was the equipment we're using is basically a 6.8 medium action St. Croix Legend Tournament spinning rod. Uh, it's got a faster tip on it. Um, we're spooling a medium-sized spinning reel with uh, eight pound uh, suffix Pro Max, which is, has a little less stretch than the Elite does. Um, we're tying that to a barrel swivel and a shank of um, oh, 12 to 18 inches of uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon. And the fluorocarbon works good, especially in areas where it's a little rockier or where there's um, some northern pike where the, they might saw you off. It's a little bit tougher and doesn't get clipped off as much. So. This is, um, I would say, about the perfect setup for doing what we're doing. And all we're doing is we're just flipping this out. It's hitting the bottom. We're just snapping real quick in the wrist. And I, I'm all spooled up like we're talking about with that, the Pro Max number eight. And I, I like the, the Pro Max or the Mono versus the braid doing this, just because you're getting a little more stretch and that's that's really key in that initial strike. You just get that stretch and it just seems like you stay hooked up a little more. Uh, All right, Mike. A little bit bigger. Nice. I'm gonna spot lock us up here. Whew. I actually went into back reel mode, Billy. I'm All right, nice. thinking I got a pretty darn good one here. Yep, I spot yeah. lock, so. Right. I'm probably gonna make a little spin. Oh my. Unless he's hook goofy, this is a this is a pretty uh, pretty decent critter. I guess you weren't kidding. There were a few fish here. I'm feeling totally spoiled here. It's like I'm hey, up front where there's a. What I do, man. It's what I I'm do. I'm up front where there's a trolling motor, but I'm not running it. I'm hey. just just sitting up here enjoying myself fishing. I That's feel like way, I'm being guided. It's the way it should be. It's just another day at the office for me, man. Well, I hope this is as big as it feels. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's some tanks in here. Yeah. We're good. I'm just going to let him do his thing here. Nice. He's, we're making headway. Here he comes, Jack. I'm going to take it a little. Jack. Oh wow, that's a good one. Oh, wasn't right, huge, Jack. but still another really good really fish, nice huh? Fish. Yeah. Nice, Mike. Perfect. Nice. He was nice. hooked a little, Pretty a little fish. underside, but yeah, it's a good one. Pretty fish. There we go. Gosh, another just 
Really good one, probably 20, upper 20 inch or mid, oh, mid man, upper, just a, just a good fish. That's you probably know? close to a two footer, Mike. You know, proving that the slot does, it does have its good effects, right? Oh. Keeping some good healthy females in the population, so. It is, that's just, I don't know. What, what more can we ask <laughs> no. for, man? That's just a beautiful fall fish up here. Well, we've caught um, plenty of these big ones, but we still need a few fish for the table. Yeah. So let's, uh, should we let this one go and maybe go yeah, try to find it, a spot to yeah, let's go get, get a some few of those, those dinner fish. And, 13, 14, 15 inches. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to wear you out. We got a long day yet. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's let this gal go. Oh, there we go. Well, that was another good one, huh? Oh, that was a beautiful fish again, Mike. Well, like I said, Billy's got me spoiled up here in the front of this big 2025 impact. He's got it all set up the way he wants to for fishing for his guiding business, so. Yeah, the, this 2025 impact, it just for what I do, guiding, it works out just super, super great. One of the features I really like, I mean, it's wide. There's a lot of room up in the deck, tons of storage throughout the boat. Other great things is the rod storage. I can store 20 rods and reels in this boat. All my musty stuff, pike stuff, bass stuff, walleye stuff. I can get a lot of people in here. I got the flip up seats here too. Guiding, I fish with a lot of families, so. Now I can fish myself and a family of four in here, no problem. Lots and lots of room. We in the zone? We got ways, but there should be one down here too on this end. Got one. Nice. I'm starting to see some color, Billy. Nice. Oh yeah, geez. Another huge. Another good fish. There we go. Chunk -o Sweet. Here we go. It's uh, yep. not, not eatable, but right. that's all right. So I'll get this one back in the water and go after some little, yeah, some 15 inches or 16 inches. Let's go find inches some fish and getting some fish here for our fish fry we're going to have tonight with our grow. God, how perfect, perfect is perfect. that, huh? Perfect. That's, that's perfect. good. Now we got a, got perfect a few meal. of those suckers in the well for uh, dinner. Maybe get a couple more and we should be good, huh? Sounds good, Mike. All right. What you got going there, Billy? Hey, nice uh -huh. coming there. You gonna need a little net action there, you think? I think so. That's a nice one. Oh, let's see how we get in there. Get in here? Oh, big, big, big oh yeah, the there we go. Too. That's a good one, though. Heck yeah. That's a nice one. Feisty, feisty, feisty. Scrappy. There we go. Ah, I got him. There we go, not a bad deal at all. Oh, pretty fish. Nice. Nice healthy fish eating perch. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna make the cut, Mike. Let's give him a quick stick. Yep, he just, he just about really 20, nice one. Yeah. 20 inch or yeah, yep. not bad. Another well, nice one. Well we got a bit of daylight left today, Billy. Should we uh, give the walleyes yeah, a break and maybe a break and take... let's get Jack out. All right. What do we sportsmen depend on most? or motors, whether it be my 200 four-stroke Mercury, my ATV, or snowmobile. We really rely on them to get around. Motors have lots of moving parts. The last thing you need is for those parts not to move. So changing the oil in them on a regular basis is critical to maintain optimal performance. But not all engines are created equal, nor is the oil you should run in them. Unlike cars and trucks with lower RPMs, or off-road equipment tends to run much higher under strenuous conditions. Auto oils just don't cut it. With the wide range of temps these motors go through, a full synthetic ATV, UTV, four-stroke oil for the wheeler and the snowmobile will give you the best protection under the harsh conditions we put them through. Same with the two-stroke snowmobile. Full synthetic provides better protection from wear and corrosion, which helps extend the life of your engine. Hey, your time on the water is precious. Just take those few extra minutes to do the proper maintenance and they'll keep you out here having a good time. Is it bird time, huh? You think we should get some grouse grouse? <laughs> He's getting all twitchy. <laughs> so we're heading in to shore right now. That's what's sort of cool about up here on Vermilion or this whole lakes country up here is we got tons and tons of water to fish but there's also tons and tons of federal and state land up here that you can hunt on. Um, so right now, Billy's taking us into a spot where there's a logging or a trail that goes into the woods to another lake, but it intersects with some other logging roads. And we got, I don't know how many miles of 
woods back there once we get to it that we can hunt. And this particular one is only accessible by boat, but. Yeah, it's big country back here. We're right, yeah. you know, the boundary waters is right there. Yep. Got him. Did ya? All right. Good boys. That's a nice big bird too. It is. Good yeah, job. Good shot, two. Billy. I think you got that one. Yeah, we both let go. It was yeah. fast and furious there. Well, that's a that's a pretty bird. That's a start. Yeah, nice. Here you go. Very nice. I think I missed. I think Did you got them, but yeah. There was two birds. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There was two of them in there, and Mike let go, and then I let go, and we got one. Alrighty. Good job, Jack. Good job. Yeah. Wow. Wow, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Heck of a view. Right? Yeah, this looks like a spot you could walk over and see a, a big bull moose standing in the creek down there. Yeah, and they, every once in a while they go through here. Pretty. Oh, it's yep. like a logging road here, huh? Yeah, we're back out to a little tote road out here. Yeah, that's kind of where that little trail runs into a log, one yep. of the many logging roads. Yep, exactly. Now, which way should we go, road. do you think? Uh, let's go to the right. Let's go down here ways. Okay. See what happens. Sounds good. Wait up. Wait up. Come on. They love sitting. There's a, this old mossy log right here. There's oh, bird. Bird. He went up in the tree. Got him! Nice! Nice! Come on, Jack, come on! Jack, come on, come on! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where's the bird? Dead bird, dead bird, where is he? Come on, come on, Jack, where is he? Where is he? What's down here? What is that? There he is, good boy! Good boys! What is that? Come here! Jack, what's this? What is that, huh? Bang belly, huh? Oh, that was sort of a... Nice shot! Sort of a long poke, but... We got them. Heck yeah, of a deal. That's awesome. Yeah, nice good deal. Bird, All right. Mike. Sweet. Nice bird. All right. That's an older bird. Yeah. Nice adult, pretty bird. Yep. Well, we got the. Uh, Jack put him up nice. He's perfect. Moved and well, I'm going to put him in the bag and we'll keep going. Get yeah, a, see if we can get good. any more, huh? All right. Perfect. Nice shot. <laughs> it's better to be lucky than good, I guess, right? Exactly. Good Not job, a good man. crossing shot, but whatever. <laughs> Well, this is good looking country. So I've been coming up here every year for most of my life, but I only get up here a couple, three times a year, but you live up here. What um, what are you seeing for the grouse numbers? Well, I think they're about the same as last year. You know, I, I don't think they're super high, but I think they held their number, yeah. numbers. You know, there's grouse and I think it's just gonna get better. Our leaves are starting to come down. And you know, th th there's some birds. I saw some coveys earlier this year and- uh, Yeah, I know they, those, the grouse go in that 10 year cycle, you know, and it seemed to me that last year was like the bottom of it or close to, and now right. this is the year they're supposed to be coming up. But right. I know the little bit I got up here, boy, we've seen more birds than we thought. Yeah. So, and that's sort of yep, like kind I said, of proven I, true. Yeah, and I, I've seen some coveys this year, you know, and yep. I think there's more coveys this year than last year. So it's, good yeah, deal. it's all good stuff. Well, hopefully a couple of them hold for us. Yeah. Oh. Up there. There's a bird. Check, 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 there's check, check. Come here. It's on the ground right up there. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You bet it is. Come here, Jack. Come. Come here. Come here. What's this? What's this? Come. Come. What do you want to do? He knows. What do you want to do? Did you get him? No, he went down over there. Come on, Jack. Should I take the dog in? Jack, come on. Come on, Jack. Come on. Bird, bird, where's the bird? Where is he? Where is he? Get him up. Got him. Nice. Got him. Nice. Get him, Jack. Get him. Get him. Nice. Get him. Bring him here. Bring him here. Come on. Come on. Bring him here. Oh, he's chasing him. He's chasing him. Get him. Jack, come on. Come on. Bring him Good here. Hunt him up. 
Come on. Come here. Come here. Drop. Drop. Good boys. Good boys. <laughs> oh. Third one, Billy. Huh? Nice shot. All right. Nice shot. That's a beauty. There was three of them there. Good job, man. Luckily, we got that. That's a yeah. Nice that's bird. Good deal. Good deal. Nice shooting, man. <laughs> it was in some thick stuff, but yeah. All right. That's another good bird. Really nice bird. He was. I don't think I. Yeah. Didn't hit him super great, but the dog was all hey. over him. I mean, look at the stuff we're shooting in. I mean, it's just super thick stuff. Yeah. That's what's fun, though. That's why we grouse hunt for yeah. this stuff, you know? You just got to open up and... Yep, yep, cool. Jack did a great job chasing him and got Gotta retrieved them down. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I would have never guessed there was three of them sitting up there with that one, but that's... Yep, that's why bird. Why keep getting after them. That's bird hunting. All right. There. Here you go. I'm going to get the dog in. Jack, hunt. Oh, let's good. go. Let's go. Come on, up, 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 up. Good boy. Well, that was a pretty good end, huh, Billy? Oh, three, it was three awesome. Grouse. Three, three grouse, grouse and walleyes to eat. So let's uh, I'm let's head back to camp and let's finish her off, huh? Hey, Rick, how's it going? It's going good. Good. This is Rick White, uh, the chef at Vermilion Dam Lodge, and uh, he's going to do a little number on these walleyes and grouse for us to finish off the trip. So, what do you got planned? I'm going to take the grouse and stuff it with a wild rice stuffing. Okay. Um, I got some bacon. Um, shiitake mushrooms in here, onion, and I'm gonna do a rub on this and oh. then bake it. And then the walleye, I'm gonna do um, a pan fry and virgin olive oil and butter and an egg wash and breading. Plus we got a little bit of uh, squash, squash from the garden. Rutabagas. Rutabagas and, and homemade apple pie Boy. from the garden, awesome. from your garden. Yes, yeah. yes. That doesn't sound like it gets much better than that. Here's to a good day. Right. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like more information, check out lundboats.com or these other online outlets.